Bill Clinton ate the apple pie over here. He liked it so much that. Hello again. Welcome to my bathroom. I just wanted to show you something before we are off to the eating Amsterdam food tour because I just tried something new for my curls. It's called plopping. <laughs> Yes, it's really called that way. And uh, I just wanted to show you live how my hair turned out. If it works, I can make a separate... What the F? <laughs> what the F? I look like a newborn baby. Oh my effing God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is happening to my hair? Seriously, this... <gasps> Seriously, okay, give me a minute. Seriously, this is this is a situation. <laughs> All right, this this looks a little bit better, but it's still really not how I like to wear my hair. Okay, we have to go. I'll have to deal with this, and please bear with me with this hair. <laughs> what did they? <laughs> Brilliant idea to try it out on a filming day. Oh my gosh, just let go. So we started off the food tour in the Jordan area and the name Jordan, I already learned so much, is apparently based on the French word for a garden, jardin. That's why all the, the canals and streets here have plants and flower names. Seriously, I've lived in this city for like five years. I did not know that. So awesome, already winning in life, eating Amsterdam food tour. First stop, it's already a winner. Yeah. for cheers. <laughs> Can you guys introduce yourself? This is a part of our group. I'm Karen from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Nice to meet you. Ashley from Sydney. Yeah. And I'm also from Belfast and I'm called Emma. Hi, nice to meet you. And you're going to try poffertures for the first time, right? Ah, I hope you like it. It looks really good. Is it good? <laughs> and here's another member of our group. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Amy. I live in Munich. I'm from Australia. Nice and, to um, meet you. Really enjoy it. You like the puffer oh, Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I almost finished all of the puffer but they're so good. I just had to tell you. It's like <laughs> really, really, really tasty puffer mm -hmm. Yes! Cheese tasting coming up. Oh my gosh. So we are at one of the top five. Delicat delicacy stores in the Netherlands. So not even in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. And we're going to try cheese over here. So it's one of the only... <laughs> mm. Oh, that's cheese. interesting. Mm. Yeah, because cheese is a big cheese, so milk has more time to circulate in the cheese. It makes the cheese creamy. Yeah. Cheese, man, cheese. Mm. Also, fun fact, you need 10 liters of milk to make Gouda cheese. <laughs> I did not know. 10 liters for one kilo. I have such a good group. <laughs> Learning so much today. <laughs> and I'm the local, wow. <laughs> Burkas, so farmer's cheese. And it's it's handmade, so only like two to 10 cheeses per day. And it's only made from milk uh, from one farm. So it basically never leaves the country because there's not, you know, enough. You know, so it's not like a factory because when, when you're talking about a factory, they just collect milk of all the farms. Wow, this is really good. Wow, so, so tasty, so full of flavor. The last cheese we're going to try is an old Gouda, so about two years old. Mary meat cheese. I really, really love old cheese, but the farmer cheese was also really good. The Budapest. I can't pick which one is my favorite. Cheese board. Cheese board. More cheese board. Mm, this is the farmer's cheese. The Budapest. Canals. Extra pretty on a sunny day. Uh, love Amsterdam on sunny days. Winning in life. We're going to try. Suriname food. Our guide was just telling us about the former Dutch colonies and Suriname used to be one of those. So the brilliant thing, of course colony stuff, it's not good, but it did bring really good food to the Netherlands and that's why it's also part of Dutch culture. And now we're going to try, I can't wait, we're going to try Suriname food. So I got the vegetarian option with tempeh and tahu or tofu. 
Dutch? So good. Lekker. <laughs> Our second Suriname food tasting. So this is bakabana, which is, well, actually translated, it means baked banana, but it's um, it's more of a plantain. So it's a family of banana, along with peanut sauce made by the owner's wife. I've had this before, but it's it's really delicious. So. Mm. <coughs> Oh yeah, we're going into a real Jordanese brown cafe. It's so cute. Of course. Yeah, no worries. So this is the view from the top. We just went up the stairs. It's really, really, really cute. This is amazing. So this cafe is visited by Bill Clinton. It's 400 years old. It's a state monument by now. And Bill Clinton ate the apple pie over here. He liked it so much that he bought the whole pie and brought it back to his hotel. And ever, uh, every time he comes back to the Netherlands, he comes back here to eat the apple pie. He even wrote like a thank you letter uh, so this is this cafe is owned by the NATO family and they name all their boys Teal, so some Teal, <laughs> and it's signed by Bill Clinton. Wow, that's really really cool. And yes, we are going to have the same apple pie Bill Clinton loves. <laughs> Look at these taps by the way, that's gorgeous. Look at that, those are beer taps. Apple pie. The apple pie Bill Clinton loves. And one of these hidden jerks is just across the canal. Wow. It's the first dark grey house. It's called the Phosphor Church. There are many hidden churches in Amsterdam. One of the best apple pies I've ever had. Open to public as museum. And um, and actually, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> beers are being made by monks. The best beers are made by monks. I'm not sure whether they're escaping from something or they just love it. <laughs> 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 that could be. So, yeah, that's why it's called Cafe Papa I love. What did you think of the apple pie? It was amazing. I feel yeah, like you the, liked it? The balance of the spice was just spot on. I agree. It so it's really good, good, right? Really kind yeah, of um, just authentic flavors, good yeah. texture. Yeah, it was amazing. Good. Yeah, I really totally good. agree. Yeah. We are now in a hofia, which is an inner courtyard in the Jordan area. There are about 60 of these hofias in Amsterdam and 30 of them are in the Jordan area. And I already see like a little kitty over here. Hello. Hello. Enjoying the sun. Are you having a good day? Yeah. We're in a pastry shop. Or it's more like art. I'm gonna try it. Our home? Oh. Mm. Very tasty. So this is a shop where we are now, Patisserie wow. Anesta. And honestly, like look at this. It's it's like pieces of art. It's amazing. Look at that. If you watch Australia Master Chef, you know how hard it is to make these balls. It's insane. <laughs> but guess what time it is? A real Urk fish store in Amsterdam. So Urk is a small village where like 90% of the population is working in the fish industry and apparently there's a fish store in the Jordan area with a guy who grew up in Urk and he imports the fish in Amsterdam. Dutch herring! And this is apparently like with small pieces, this is the Amsterdam style and this like with the whole fish, that is Rotterdam style because the people from Rotterdam they were much more rich than the Amsterdam people and they could afford to buy a whole fish. And in Amsterdam, you cut it in small pieces. First herring. herring in yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah, you were the one who was really looking forward to this. But yeah, <laughs> it's good. You like it's it? Good. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> That's a, it, it's a little bit difficult texture, right? It's a little bit furry or something. Mm, no, it's smooth. It's fishy. But, you know, I like seafood, so. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what we called as kibbling. And kibbling is fried cod. The fish has been dipped into beer oh, batter so and seasoned oh with Derek's secret seasoning mix. So do not ask me what it is. He's not telling, okay? 
And for me, as a vegetarian, I get fries with mayonnaise, which is also very, very Dutch. Final stop, cafe, the barking fish, where the others are going to have beer. And I'm just gonna join in for the gezelligheid, like we Dutch like to say, just to keep them company. And this is like a really old Jordanese bar. So the rest is having beer. <laughs> and I'm having hot chocolate. <laughs> Cheers, ladies. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> and of course, you can't have any beer without bitterballa. And I just heard like the first English translation, which I think could be correct, and it's like that it's like fried gravy. Vegetarian option. I'm guessing these are cheese sticks. Trying bitterballa for the first time. <laughs> mm. Good. Yeah one of my favorites when I used to eat meat. It's so good. Oh yum, they're so nice. <laughs> we just finished the tour and I have to say it was really, really, really so much fun. I think the balance between the food and the information about Amsterdam and the Jordan area was really, really good. I never felt like there was too much historic information because I, you know, honestly, I don't like you know, to know that, for instance, this brick is 400 years old, it, it really makes a bigger impact on me to hear about a place like that cafe that was 400 years old and visited by Bill Clinton and like all these fun places in the Jordan area and the history with the people and not just like with the bricks because the people make the history, right? Not the buildings. So it was so much fun and like, hearing all the all the people in the group being so happy with the dutch food and i don't know it was so 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 much fun i highly recommend it it's like one of the top five things recommended to do in amsterdam on tripadvisor so yeah it's not just me saying it it's like a lot of other tourists visiting the city and uh and getting that experience i will put the link from uh the eating amsterdam food tours down in this description below if you guys want to check it out because even for me as a local it was so much fun to do i i <laughs> i wouldn't have found that apple pie by myself and now that i have i'm addicted i have to go back one day because it was so good it was my favorite food of the day our tour guide eileen she was the biggest sweetheart ever she was a little bit shy so she didn't want to be on camera but she is originally from indonesia and came to the netherlands like 15 years ago she stayed here she was like oh i can't speak dutch yada 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 and then she walked in all these shops and she started talking dutch and i was like what are you talking about your dutch is perfectly fine she was like no but it's not that the queen's life will no duh the queen has private tutor so you know but um <laughs> she was such a sweetheart so knowledgeable if you can get a tour with Aileen, I highly recommend it. She's really, really cute. Oh, one more thing I really want to mention is that I really like the size of our group. It was also a really varied group of people. Like we had a man from the US, we had a couple from South Africa with two kids and of course the ladies from Northern Ireland and our Australian friend from Germany. It was, it was a really super fun group. Oh, there was also a German couple. It was a really super fun group, like with chill, laid back people. And the size of the group was not too big. So you could like have a chat with everyone. Right now I'm just walking back home and I'm going to do a little bit of work. And I also have an extra piece of apple pie for Stefan because I know he will love it. By the way, I think most of you guys know I'm not born in the Netherlands. I'm born in Serbia. My dad was Bosnian, so we lived in Bosnia. I'm actually like half-blood Yugoslavian because my mom is Serbian and my dad is Bosnian. And then we came uh, to the Netherlands when I was eight. But still, I have to show you something like for all my Yugos out there, you have to follow this account. It's called Yugo Jokes. I don't know if you can see it. Focus, pretty camera, yes. And they have all these jokes like relating back to, you know, Yugoslavian culture. So for instance, oh, this is so typical. Yugo moms be like, uh, uh, you know, cover yourself because you're gonna be cold even though it's 30 degrees outside. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Uh, and I really, really like a Yugoslavian humor, it's super sarcastic, like incredibly sarcastic. If you are Yugoslavian or if you are from the Balkan, 
definitely go to Instagram and follow Hugo Jokes. I will tag it there. I will put the link to their Instagram account in the link down below. Stefan's going to try the best apple pie. Do it. Make it dramatic, baby. Slow motion. <laughs> Ooh, look at it. Mm, look at that juicy apple pie. Oh yeah. I'm just going to reenact his face. So he's, he put it in his mouth and he's like... Stefan doesn't want to be on camera. Let me just remove my glasses for a more realistic view. He's rubbing his mouth. <laughs> no! No! He's being disgusting. No! What do you think of it? Is it? Best apple pie? No? If you have to give it a grade, what kind of grade would you give it? Between 1 and 10. On a scale of 1 to 10. An 8. Oh, that's really good. It's, it's like in your top 3 of apple pies. <laughs> so, it's an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. That's really good apple pie. And it's just not making me happy. And if I'm not happy...